Hi, I'm Charlotte Allender. I'm manager of Warwick Genetic Resources Unit and I'm standing here in the cold store which holds the uh, seed collection of the vegetable gene bank. So the seeds we have are uh, packaged in these foil packets and they're kept at minus 20 which is the room I'm standing in at the moment. I can assure you it's very cold and uh, under these conditions the seed will keep for decades if not longer and so that's the whole point of our work here is the conservation and maintenance of crop genetic diversity. So what we have here is our, our seed production. Um, so we have uh, some young brassica seedlings here. So these, will, these have been sown and uh, we'll be getting seed back from them next year after they've grown up a bit and had a vernalisation, that is to say a, a cold treatment to get them to flower. So regeneration, the production of new uh, fresh seed is a really important part of the conservation work of the gene bank. Uh, because the seed can deteriorate over time in the long-term store, although very slowly. Um, and also seed stocks can run out because we send seed out um, on request to plant breeders and researchers across the world. So this is one of our glass houses that we use for regeneration. In here we regenerate our outcrossing um, crops. So these crops need to actually be kept separate um, from samples of the, the same species in order to stop them intercrossing and um, spoiling the genetic integrity of each of our accessions or our seed samples. So we have in total in the gene bank we've got 46 isolation cages as you can see here um, up the corridor and in each cage we will regenerate two crops which are not compatible and this makes the best use of our available space and resource. So inside each isolation cage we have uh, 45 plants from each accession to try and maintain the genetic diversity within each accession. In this cage we've got some parsnip, you can see the seed here is set really nicely, it's really nice to look at. And as, t as the summer goes on this seed will ripen and we will harvest it, clean it and dry it down, package it and it will go back in the minus 20 store. Okay, so we're now in the drying room in the gene bank. This room is maintained at 15 degrees C and 15% relative humidity. And we bring all the harvested plant material in here to dry off so that it's nice and dry and we can thresh and clean the seed out easy. So this is what's in these bags here. So material from each plant is harvested into paper bags, which is obviously breathable so that the material inside can dry out. Then once we've um, cleaned the seed out of the plant material, it comes back in here to dry down a bit more so that it eventually reaches 5% moisture content by weight. At that point, we can actually package it into the foil packets uh, we saw earlier in the cold room, and these will keep the moisture content of the seed very low while it's in long-term storage at minus 20. And this is essential to keep it alive over the longer term.